I don't know where I'm going, but I don't want to know A predictable life is not what I want Putting one foot down, one step at a time Let the road turn ashes fine One of my main goals when I designed this teardrop trailer, I wanted this to be as simple a trailer, true to the classic design, but have all the modern amenities to cook a really good meal. And then at the end of the night, when they're ready to go to bed, feel really good about the, the aesthetics and the form of the trailer inside. It's the detail that we're after, as well as we want that trailer to last a long time, hopefully 30, 40, 50 years. So one of the things that makes a Timberleaf great and what makes a Timberleaf unique is the, the solid structure that is kind of unique for a wooden trailer. Like we've had trailers go through hell and back and they're still on the road today after some serious abuse. What I like best about the trailer, aside from the livability of the interior of the cabin, what I keep coming back to is the construction of the trailer and the off-road uh, capabilities of the trailer. Well, my favorite thing about the trailer is I'm not sleeping on the ground anymore. We got the upgraded mattress and we both think it's super, super comfortable and we really enjoy that aspect of it. The biggest feature for me is that kitchen galley. Like I wanted something where I could have two pull-outs, have like counter space, be able to chop, cook. I mean, he's always trying to help and I'm like, no, this is my space, you know, this is it. And I just feel so like I can look out wherever I am and be cooking and it's just, to me, that was a big seller for me, was that galley. For, for me, it's naps. <laughs> um, and when you get out there and you set up the trailer in a landscape that just feels like it's meant for you, and then in the afternoon, you can sit in the trailer, doors open, get a breeze, read a book, fall asleep. It's just, it's the best. The capabilities of putting any kind of awnings, any kind of accessories on it, like it can basically do all of it. Like yeah. whatever you want, showers, solar, shade, it offers it all. And I think that's my favorite part of it, how capable it is. And I love inside that root, the sunroof where you can just look out at night and you're able to see like the stars. We started looking at um, travel trailers about four years ago. And uh, we looked at all kinds of trailers. We started out looking at uh, live-in style trailers, big trailers, you know, and, and they just, we liked a lot of them. They were nice inside, but they wouldn't go where we wanted to go because we're really kind of backcountry people and we wanted to get backcountry. So we started looking at these little teardrop trailers and we looked at several of those, lots of them, you know. And then we went to the Timberleaf um, workshop in Grand Junction, Colorado. We drove up there and we walked in the shop and we just said, wow, look at what they're doing in here. The quality of the, of the construction and the materials they were putting into those trailers, we were both really impressed. Yeah, and I, I know I was actually shocked because he said, let's put a down payment down. And I, Rodney never would have done anything like that. It, right there, the same day that we saw this for the first time, he said, let's put a down payment on it. So it was like, okay. <laughs> a lot of our friends have, you know, A-liners or Airstreams, but when they, when we actually got ours in person and brought it home, they came over to check it out and were really blown away with how well it was designed, how well it was built. And we would agree, I mean, just even every little detail seemed to be attended to. I kind of have a background in a lot of woodworking. And so immediately, this was a trailer that just caught my attention. Just from the craftsmanship, the, the, just the skill that, put, that went into a, creating a trailer like this just caught my attention right off the bat. Meeting Kevin and Alex and the team at Timberleaf, um, just their care 
and the quality of work and their efficiency of doing the work was also really striking. When we looked at other teardrops, we we're like, this stuff is junk compared to what this is. It's just beautiful. The people that work in the shop with them, when we went up there to see it uh, under construction, you could tell it was really a good team. It was a well-synchronized team. They all were having fun, and it was like one big family. The crew that builds these things, they're all craftsmen. They're not just working at a job. They put their, their heart into it, and they want to make a product that has people be happy. Timberleaf Crew stands by their word, um, their integrity, and their care, and the way that they listen are really um, stellar. But if something were to go wrong, I would be completely confident that they would address it with us with the utmost care. Usually when you're buying a product, you feel like you're just buying that product and then you leave, and then you don't really know if you're gonna have a connection with that company or that group again, but emailing this family, like you just feel like you're part of this community of people and you're able to just access them at any time. They're very welcoming. You're buying into that family and it makes you even more proud to have this. For me, the teardrop has transformed my camping style to be more spontaneous and more frequent. And so I want to spread that as best I can because I feel like a lot of other clients and a lot of people that I talk to kind of have the same qualms of, well, I've got all this stuff that I have to load in my car every time I want to go camp. And I'm a big believer that every time you have a little barrier, those add up to, oh, I just won't go this weekend and I wanna break those barriers down because that's what it took for me to be able to have the camping lifestyle that I've always wanted. Most people say that after they've owned our trailer, just for a short time, they are finding themselves making excuses to go camping more and more than they ever did before. So to hear the stories about these people that are traveling across country, and some people we've had, for instance, have traveled for the full year and put 40,000 miles on their trailer. It's an experience they will never have again. It's just heartwarming, you know, just to hear what they do.